Hello guys, welcome to a brand new tier list video. Now I don't think you'd be expecting me to do another one of these so soon, but here we are. This one is actually a little bit different. We're going to be doing Crash Bash levels and how annoying they are to play. Now I'm going to be covering all bases for this, like the crystal, the, you know, the gem, the platinum relics especially. Every single part is going to be fused into one and we're going to rank each of them. So right at the top of the list is I'd rather eat a shoe. Sounds about right. Um, these are for the levels that are literally the most annoying things in the world and I'd never want to play again in my whole life. Uh, then there's very annoying. Then there's annoying. Not very annoying. And really fun just means that there's no annoying parts to the level at all. There's probably not going to be many levels in that category, though. Let's be real. Right, so let's get started. The first one is the... I can't remember the name of it. And that's going to be a problem with a lot of these. I don't remember the name of it. But it's the Pogo one where you make squares and you just sit in the corner doing fours all the time. Now, my the, there's no real issue with this because the, the technique where you just get fours in the corner makes it not very annoying at all i i think the only time it's ever annoying is if you get super unlucky but i pretty much never fail this level with that tactic so i'm actually going to put this in really fun i do really enjoy this uh this level um be sure to let me know what it's called in the comments i can't really remember but yeah um that is that one that is probably my favorite pogo level of the lot now this one is the most annoying thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I think this one's Pogo Loco, and I think the other one is Pogo Agogo. I'm pretty sure. I could have got those the other way around, but I think Pogo Loco is this one that we're doing now in the top left, uh, which is the one with Ripperoo. Now, this one is a lot more RNG. There's the arrows box, which is so crucial to get if you're going for a... Uh, if you're trying to get like a platinum relic or something. The AI is horrible. They've got good AIing, so it's like you're playing against real players. They have aimbot with their rockets. They know exactly when to fire it. They seem to gravitate towards the boxes all the time. Like it's just a very, very, very hard level to win. The crystal isn't easy. He places down nitros instead of TNTs, which blow up almost instantly. It can really just box you in and there's no way you can go. So I'm going to put this in the very annoying section. I'm not going to go, I'd rather eat a shoe. I, I'd play the level again. I'd play through the game and be fine with doing that level again. But the RNG does make it super annoying at times. Sometimes you can get lucky. So that's why I'm putting it there. The next one is Pogo Padlock. Now, this level, it depends what you're playing. If you're playing the trophy, it's fun. It's really fun. I don't think there's anything really annoying about Pogo Padlock. I think it plays extremely well. The only thing that's kind of annoying is when you jump on your own squ coloured square, but that's more your own fault than anything else. It's quite easily avoidable if, you're, uh, if you've played the game enough. Uh, what I would say is the relic... No, not the relic. The crystal on this level is the worst I've ever played in my entire life. You have to go around. You do not get any coloured squares for moving around. The only way you get coloured squares is by stealing them off anyone else in the game by hitting them with a rocket. Now, that is the most stupid thing ever. Having to win like that is so dumb. So, overall, I'm going to put this in not very annoying... It would be really fun if the crystal didn't exist. The crystal is what makes it horrible. Everything else is fine about uh, Pogo Padlock. Like, like I've said in previous ones, if you disagree and you change anything about these, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you change. But, you know, this is just my opinion. For once, I don't have Luke here to disagree with me, so this is quite easy for me to do. Now, the first of the box-throwing levels in the jungle... Um, this one isn't too bad, to be honest. The crystal can be quite annoying if you're speedrunning, but it doesn't take that many attempts to finish anyway. They just throw nitros at you. You can actually make the AI get hit by the nitros too, so I wouldn't say it's that bad. 
Uh, I quite like the box throwing ones. I wouldn't really say it's annoying, this one. I think it's just the crystal that so it can be a bit RNG. But I'm going to still put it in really fun. I don't get annoyed by this level at all. I think it's a very good level. And same with the this level here. This level, this, this one where you make holes in the ground. I can't remember exactly what it's called. But um, the box, this is my most fun box level in the whole game. The one where you throw the boxes. The one where you make holes in the ground. It's so much fun. It's really, really satisfying to play in that level for me. Whenever I speedrun this game and I come onto this level, I'm always like super excited to play the level. Shame that it's over so quickly. The next one is the ice one with Penta, the box level. Now this one is horrid. I'm sorry to say it, it is horrid. The, the gem is the worst thing I've ever played when it comes to a box level. It's harder than any of the other ones, I think. Maybe, uh, maybe not. Maybe Drain Bash is worse. Yeah, it's Space Bash, I think, is the, uh, the one with the holes, which is really, really fun. Um, but yeah, the, the Snow Bash, it's going in at least annoying. I'm probably going to put it very annoying. Penta is the worst. And... It just for the gem alone it is so trash and the same goes for drain bash as well the, the reason why this one is so bad is because it relies so heavily on items for drain bash there's four boxes that spawn item boxes right and only one of them actually has an item in it all the other three have wumpers you don't know which one has the item in it it's a bit of rng whether you get it or not now some of the power-ups are really bad like Sometimes the rockets can be really bad. Sometimes the uh, the shockwave thing can be really bad. The one that you need for the gem is the blue orb thing that you can fire three times into uh, enemies. That is how you win on the gem. And if you don't get it early, you're wasting so much time and you're probably not going to get the gem. You have to just keep restarting and restarting and restarting. It's a nightmare to speedrun and play that level. So that is why I'm putting it very annoying. Simply because... The normal boxes don't do enough damage to warrant you even going for them. You literally have to go for TNTs and power-ups and that's it in that, in that uh, thing. So that's why I'm putting that in very annoying because it's very RNG based. I wouldn't say I'd rather eat a shoe because the other sections that aren't the gem are actually quite fun for that level. But it's still lacking with the fact that normal boxes do so little damage no matter what type of uh, drain bash you're playing. But yeah. Next one is the first tank level. Now, this one is quite good because it's like quite boxy. All the uh, all the of them are quite square and it's, uh, it's you've still got quite a bit of freedom to move, but there's a lot of tactics involved when it comes to this, uh, this tank level, which is why it's probably one of my favorite tank levels in the game. So I'm actually gonna put this in really fun. Personally, I know a lot of people would disagree. I know a lot of people really don't like the tank levels, but personally, I'm, I've always been a fan of the tank levels, especially the first one. I think this one's called Desert Fox. And yeah, it's it's just major tactics are involved in this one. Sure, the AI can gang up on you a lot on this one. Like if they all come after you at the start, there's not really much you can do sometimes, but it's not nowhere near as bad as some of the other ones. Speaking of which, we've now got Metal Fox. Now this one is a nightmare in a speedrun again. You want to be doing it because it could be done really fast, which is why they use it in the speedrun. However, the amount of times you get targeted by everybody, just pushed and targeted and spammed right in the center of the map, it is so bad. So I'm going to put it in annoying for that reason. For speedrunning purposes horrible quite fun if you're playing with your friends or if you're playing just like the trophy or even like the gold relic or the platinum relic can be quite satisfying it's mainly the gem that can be really annoying as well as the crystal the crystal is horrible too with the mines when what happens in the crystal is the mines come down in care packages and if it lands on you you instantly die if the care package lands on you, and the care package always spawns on top of you as well, and it's always a mine. So you've got to keep moving, which sometimes isn't possible because you get blocked here. But yeah, the, the next one is a Jungle Fox, which is quite an interesting one, to be honest. It's, um, it's very open. It's the only one that's very open. There's the totems, 
which normally seem to kill me, which is really frustrating. Um, but for the most part, this level isn't that annoying. It gives you the freedom to move around where you like. You can dodge a lot of the, uh, the shots. Um, I'm going to put this in not very annoying. It's only a couple times where you get messed up, but it's Crash Bash. You're going to get messed up when you play this game. So I'm going to put it in not very annoying. It's not really a, the really fun because there are certain things that can be super annoying about it, like the insta-death from a totem when you don't even think it should have hit you because of the hitbox being bigger than what it actually looks. That's why I'm putting it not very annoying. This one doesn't trigger me. The, anything annoying and higher triggers me uh, at certain points. Crash Ball. Now, this one isn't very bad at all, I wouldn't say. The, uh, the crystal is actually quite fun. Even though it's one of the hardest things about the level, where you can't boost the balls back. It's actually quite fun and interesting to play. Quite a challenge, and I like that. The only hard part of this one is the Platinum Relic. Winning three rounds in a row against that AI, when they are so ruthless with how they attack you, can be really bad. So I'm going to put this actually in really fun. Because it's only the platinum, and even then, I can I can sit through it and play it for a good few hours while failing all the time and still feel okay without getting too triggered. So that's why it's going in really fun. That game mode is just a lot of fun in general. Now we get to Swamp Fox, and I'm not I don't even have to say anything here. It's I'd rather eat a shoe. This level can go die in a hole if you aren't playing Dingo Dial or Rillaroo. You haven't got a chance of doing this in under two hours. I'm sorry, it's not happening. Unless you're Pi, speedrunning this game, and somehow managed to get, you know, this done first try with Koala Kong, then you're a god. But for any, for 99.9% .9 of players, this will take you over two hours to complete. And the crystal is a joke with the torpedoes coming after you. The Platinum Relic is even more of a joke. You have to win three rounds in a row when you get targeted like crazy. Rillaroo has a machine gun while you have a sniper and his machine gun per bullet does more damage than your sniper does. Like, how does that make sense? He can rapid fire these shots. You have to wait 10 minutes to fire a shot. Plus, they have the perfect timing on their shields. They can spam that shield whenever they like they can spam it way faster than you can. They never take damage. It is the most dumb thing I've ever played in my entire life. Which is why I've completed the game twice and got the Platinum Relic on it twice and the Crystal on it twice. Don't ask why I did that. I hate myself sometimes. Now, Dot Dash. The first of the racing levels. A lot of fun. I'm a fan of racing games, as you can probably tell by the channel and by the fact that I play a lot of CTR. This game is a lot of fun. Never really have a problem with it. Has to be in fun. It's never, never been an annoying, ever. Same goes for Toxic Dash. It's a little, tiny, tiny, tiny bit more annoying than uh, the first one. But it's still easy. You know, it's not difficult in the slightest. You win every time, really. Uh, I'm going to put that in not re in really fun. Uh, Dante's Dash, again. This is the final level that you unlock in the game, in the bonus, in Warp Room 5. Again, really fun. I really like the idea of um, the pterodactyl that flies around on the crystal that picks you up. Sure, it can be kind of um, RNG whether it picks you up or not, but it's quite fun. The only issue I have with this level is the fact that you can't actually play with the pterodactyl going around in anything other than the crystal. So you wouldn't be able to play it if you were playing like four player with your friends. Um, it's just the volcano that you can see in this picture that you get for every other level. So I'm still going to put it in really fun. All the racing ones are really fun. Um, not really much annoying about that. Uh, and now we've got... I can't remember which one this one's called. It's the other racing one. It's the one where you're on the fish or the killer whales and stuff. Uh, underwater. Again, really fun. I, I love all the racing ones. Kind of biased, I know, because I make a living from playing CTR. But honestly, I don't find them hard. I don't find them, you know, too difficult. It's pretty nice. Now, same can't be said for Ring Ding. I'm up, I'm sorry, it cannot. The issue that I have with Ring Ding is the speedrun side of things. If you're trying to do the gem, good luck doing this quickly. 
it is so RNG. You need the vacuum cleaner with the black balloon to turn all of your all the balloons on the map into your color and to keep the vacuum cleaner for a while. Like it's not going to happen. Come on. It's not going to happen. It's like one in 5 6 runs you might get that and even then in some of those runs you'll get hit almost instantly. They'll come and charge you and hit you. So that's why I'm going to put this in annoying close to very annoying just because of the gem alone. The gem is so bad that it warrants it putting it up from not very annoying to annoying for sure. The dinosaur gem smashing one. At first I thought this was super annoying. This level was really, really annoying. Now I'm going to put it in not very annoying. The reason being is I've got a lot better at this level. I'm so much better at aiming. I'm The more you play it, the better you get for sure. Um, I can hit five pointers from the back like half the throws I get now. It's pretty insane. Um, the only hard part is probably the crystal where you have to score from the certain zone that's flashing. Other than that, I think that this is absolutely fine. Uh, which is why I'm going to put it in not very annoying instead of really fun. Because there's definitely some annoyance to it. Um, the mallet mash, I think it's called. Mallet mash. I'm going to be honest, it's kind of boring. They they didn't really do much with it. It's just walk around and smack a load of mushrooms. It's like whack-a-mole. It's not really too innovative, to be honest. So I wouldn't really put it in really fun. But it's not annoying. It's very easy to win. Um... From what I've played anyway, it's very easy to win. So I'm going to put it in not very annoying. It's like in between these, to be honest. I wouldn't. It's not fun, I wouldn't say. It's just there. It's just a level. It's okay. Um, but it's not annoying either, so I'm going to put it there. It's right at the bottom of very annoying. This one, the barrel one, I can't remember what it's called. Something where you blow up the barrels with the thing. Again... Nothing much seems to really happen. It's basically the mallet one, but you just you just sit there holding square the whole game. That's all you do. You just walk around holding square. That's all it is to it. Like there's not it's not really that fun. I suppose it's a little more annoying than the uh than the mallet one, but I'd still say it's not very annoying. It's pretty easy to win. Like the crystal, there's just a bomb walking around, you just walk to the other side all the time, you stay out of the way of the bomb. Like, it's, it's not that hard, it's not that annoying, but it's not really that fun either, so it's going to stay at the bottom of uh, not very annoying with Mallet. Now we have um, Beach Ball. Beach Ball is, in my opinion, one of the worst Crash Balls, simply because it's, what's the word? It's just very slow. The balls move super slowly. When they come into the uh, into the arena, they're like half speed to every other level where they on crash ball where they come in. And I don't get why. I know that you can hold the balls and then fire them super fast, which I like the mechanic. Don't get me wrong, I think it's pretty fun. But the fact that it takes so long to do the level puts it in not very annoying for me. It's quite easy to win. It's not too bad. The crystal is can be a bit detrimental sometimes with the fact that their uh, whole side can get blocked off on rotation um, with a shield. But yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind that level. I think it's pretty fun, but I wouldn't put it in really fun. I think it's just, just out of the range of really fun. So I'm going to put it in not very annoying. Embolism. It's very annoying. It's 100% very annoying. It's a lot of fun. That's one thing that I've got to say here. This falls into two categories. It's really fun and very annoying at the same time. The Platinum Relic is the worst thing I've... Second hardest thing I've ever done in this game. Swamp... Uh, in fact, no, I'd rather eat a shoe. I'd rather eat a shoe. We've got to put it there. It's not as bad as Swamp Fox. Swamp Fox is literally the epitome of the worst thing ever created in a video game ever. Embolism is a close second for the Platinum Relic alone. The, even the Crystal is only very annoying. But for the Platinum Relic, if you've completed Embolism Platinum Relic, you are a god gamer. I'm saying that now. You are a god gamer. You have made it in life if you have done Embolism Platinum Relic and you've sat through that. 
you are the most chilled out person to be able to have done that to be able to sit there and actually cope and do that is mind-blowing honestly but yeah i'd definitely rather eat a shoe than do that sky balls i'd say is really fun even the uh the crystal isn't that bad uh, the one with all the red balls. It's pretty easy to avoid them, to be honest. Sure, you get messed up sometimes, but that's part of the game. It's Crash Bash. It's not. It's all based on RNG as this game. Um, I quite like it, to be honest. No, no real bad things about it. I enjoy playing it. I like the music. Um, now we move on to the polar levels. Now, the first polar level can be a bit temperamental. With the fact that you have to, off the start of every run, you have to keep... Uh, 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 into all of these little ice blocks on the side to make a gap. It's kind of annoying that you have to do that. I'm going to put it in annoying because of that alone. Um, you can't just hit them off. You've got to actually like set up. If you just go around trying to hit them, you're not going to knock them off for ages. So you actually have to go and physically break them on purpose. And sometimes you can get caught out and smacked off instantly. It's just really waste your time. Now, the second polar level is literally the first polar level that tilts a bit more and has no ice blocks on the edge. So, I'm going to put this in not very annoying. I think this one's better. So I think it's more fun. I'm actually going to put it above these mallet ones because these mallet ones, like, shouldn't really be here. They should be in between, to be honest. Like, in between really fun and not very annoying. They're, they're basically not annoying at all, are the mallet ones. That's not even a mallet one. Why am I looking at that? Let's put it there, and then let's put that there. There we go. These two ones. Well, the mallet one and the barrel one. They're, they're both not annoying at all, but they're not really fun. So, they're just in the game. Uh, the third polar one. Now, this one is, again, it's okay. I don't mind it. The only thing is, Uka seems to really enjoy giving people bad power-ups in this one. It never seems to be good power-ups. You always get, like, frozen, or put into a snowball, or, you know, anything like that. But I'm still gonna put it in not very annoying. I quite like it. I think it's, I think it's decent. It's a good level. Now, this one, uh, the last polar one, is actually really fun. I love the bombs. The bomb mechanic makes the game way better. The game mode way better. Makes it kind of easy to win. Uh, but it's a lot of fun playing with other people on this one as well. Because the AI basically never hit the bomb, pick up the bombs. They just sit there and wait for you to pick it up. And then they'll run at you when it's an easy hit with the bomb. You just have to hit them with the bomb twice and they're gone. If you're playing with proper people, it's so much more interesting. And I think this, this game mode has a lot of potential. Now, the final level in the game is the first pogo level. And I'm going to put it in. Is it annoying? Is it? I prefer pogo padlock. I'm not going to lie. I do. I do prefer pogo padlock. And I prefer the second one as well. With the, with the corners. Yeah, I'm going to put it in annoying. There's certain things that just, yeah, it just doesn't, it doesn't appeal to me. It's, it's, I like the extra things in the other game modes that you get later more than the original. I think the original is just kind of there, kind of, can be annoying. You can get really messed up, like, so I'm going to put it in annoying. And there we have it, guys. That is my final Crash Bash level tier list. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. And let me know in the comments what you'd change. I know that there's going to be some people that really think differently to this. But yeah, take it easy, guys.